Gentlemen, if your girl doesn't pry off your headlights, smash out every one of your windows, and rip the entire back windshield out with a wide diameter screwdriver, did she actually even love you in the first place? The correct answer is, it does not matter. You delete her out of your phone and you get the f out of there and never look back. How about this dude right here, though? Just in the nick of time. The headline on this one is kid barely makes it home to narrowly escape bully. Listen, rule number one of bullying, once that person gets on their home turf, that's safe haven. If you haven't done the bullying before they get home, you're absolutely a failure and you should not be a bully in the first place. Because guess what? Daddy's home. Huh? What the fuck are you think you're going to do in my goddamn house? Leave my motherfucking yard now. Leave my motherfucking yard now. Welcome back everyone to a brand new episode of The Rainworms. We have a tasty morsel on the menu today, one of the most insane brain worms clips I've seen in my tenured career as an armchair psychologist. And get me back my fucking donuts! But speaking of tenure, first we're going to chat about one of my longest running sponsors, Raycon, because they help keep the lights on and they keep my dick plump. So let's hear about that and we'll get back to you in a minute. Today's video is brought to you by Raycon and that should come as no surprise because I've been relying on Raycon everyday earbuds for several years now and they always deliver. They fit comfortably and absolutely do not budge. And you get 32 hours of battery life and they're half the price of other premium audio brands. I've been doing a lot of long walks lately in my never ending effort to live a healthier lifestyle and Raycons are the perfect companion to listen to podcasts, audiobooks or bump some tunes when I hit the weights afterwards. As a versatile listener, I like that you can navigate between the three sound profiles by a simple three second press on the left button. They also use stereo sound with passive noise isolation, so it's just you and your music, blocking out distractions and making it easier to focus on the task at hand. Listen, I sweat like a whore in church and these babies never falter. Oh, and they come in a variety of cool colors and are sleek as hell, so give them a shot. You can get 15% off your own pair by clicking the link in my description box below or going to buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush. Thank you, Raycon, for supporting YouTubers and thank you guys for listening and supporting the channel through Raycon. I appreciate it. I want it in the Where's the fucking position? As is tradition, we are nine seconds in, right in the heat of battle. This woman is absolutely going apeshit in a Dunkin' Donuts. The caption sets the scene racist berating the innocent workers at Dunkin' Donuts. And then this tweet where I saw it was also captioned, are white women okay? Most likely what we'll find out is there aren't really any racial undertones going on here. This woman's just demeaning and belittling and berating the workers, but it's very easy to label white women as racist because it gets a lot more clicks and views on the internet. Not playing your goddamn game. And it get me back my fucking donuts. Honestly, that's the perfect, like, me when I wake up meme. I want a dozen fucking donuts now. This is a case where I am really craving context. I have to know why she's so upset over a couple of donuts and what's going on at the Dunkin's. Like, she's saying she paid for something she didn't get. Is it because she was just so inexplicably rotten right from the get-go that they're like, fuck this lady, we're not giving her anything? I don't know, but there's just never an excuse for this type of behavior, and I hope they don't give a shit. She can get fucked. What? And I'm calling channel four. Wait, why did she already call the cops? Did she anticipate a problem before she went into the Dunkin' Donuts? Hello, officers. Yeah, I forgot to take my medicine and I'm about to go into Dunkin' Donuts to grab a dozen uh, donuts and absolutely race hell and embarrass myself for no reason. Yeah, yeah, it could get ugly. I'm just calling because I think you might want to be on standby in case things start to get physical, but uh, I'm heading in there now, so it might be about 10 minutes and shit's gonna really hit the fan. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay, I'll see you soon, thanks. Oh, you're calling the cops? Too late, already called them, because this happened to me last time I tried to buy a gift card at Target. You're gonna be on the fucking news. I'm not sure they're gonna be the ones on the news. She's got the card out. She's got those big... What'd she say? No, she, you better be glad I'm a peaceful woman, she says. She's got a point. This is a perfect example of one of those videos online where everyone in the replies is gonna be a reply hero. Like, I can't believe no one did anything. I can't believe no one stepped in and stopped her or beat her ass up. Like everyone in the poll, I would have done this. I would have done that. Like, would you have though? 
You weren't there. You don't know. You think you know, but you're sitting in your chair making up stories about what you would have done. Believe me, I love to fantasize about what I do in situations like this as well. Same way I fantasize about, you know, being in a bank when it gets robbed and I go fucking Steven Seagal mode and snap every bad guy's neck. You never know until you're in that situation, though. That being said, this seems like a scenario where somebody should have spoken up. I like to think if I see service workers being treated this way or just people in general by someone completely unhinged, you just go in, make a scene, take the focus off of the people being berated and make it about this woman. She doesn't seem like dangerous, whatever. If you're a guy, it's a little more difficult because you don't know if she's going to get physical and then that shit gets weird if you're being recorded on the internet. We need a nice young woman to walk up to her, put her in a naked rear choke, put her to sleep, and then just send her on her merry ass way, roll her down the street. You're not gonna give me my coffee, extra extra with caramel. God damn it! Take <laughs> up my card. <laughs> Karma's the great equalizer. Slams the credit card down on the counter with authority. She's pissed, and it slipped behind the counter, and she no longer can access it without the help of the employees. Can you imagine the embarrassment? Pick up my card right now. Ah, ah, ah. Not today, bitch. I said, pick up my Bank of America card right fucking now. I kid, she did, dude. This, this woman, wow. This is like out of a movie right here. This is unreal. I You're lucky I'm a peaceful woman. Like that guy. Like what's what what's Under Armour in the white doing back here? He's just like, man, I ain't got time for this shit. I'm in my New Balance 401s. They're fresh and squeaky clean. I ain't trying to get in a scuffle and scuff my new four, 401s over some dumb shit right here. He just wants his large extra extra fucking cold brew. You know what I'm saying? He just wants his dozen donuts and his medium frap with Dunkachino. But instead, he's gonna be late to the job site because the wannabe handmaid's tail is up here screaming at the employees and throwing her credit card behind the counter. Is that really pisses me off? Hey. I can't keep my nose. So the person on the camera is getting a little irritated now. It took about a minute and a half, but she's struggling keeping her mouth shut, apparently. I wish I wasn't pregnant. I would be just like, you know, I'm not right now. <laughs> so there's a woman filming. She finally chimes in saying that she wishes she wasn't pregnant or she would beat the piss out of that lady right now. Ain't no way if you're pregnant are you going to risk the health of your unborn child over this bag of sheep shit, right? You just gotta let it play out understandably. We need another woman in the crowd to swoop in for the Steiner recliner, put this woman on the pavement, get her out of there so my man in the Under Armour can get his Dunkin' Donuts and get to his job site. Yep, yeah, that's fine. My Thank you so much. Right there on the floor. Right there. Oh, that's so awesome. Why don't you jump over the counter and get it then? <laughs> fine. We'll tell the cops. What? They will call what are we gonna tell him? Hello, 911. Yes, it's me again. I'm in the middle of my toddler style outrage and demeaning the Dunkin' Donuts workers. I tried to slam my credit card down on the counter in an act of authority and it accidentally flew onto the other side of the counter and I have no way to access it and I'm deeply embarrassed. Please get here quickly. I need an ambulance. I would have bent down and picked it up and been like, oh, here you go, ma'am. Oops. At this point, you just gotta egg her on to see how bad it could possibly get. So to answer the question of the tweet, are white women okay? Well, in this case, clearly this one is certainly not. But it's just tiresome that we make everything about race now, even when it doesn't need to be made that way because it gets more traction on the internet. I'm guilty of doing this in videos in the past years. But make no mistake, if you've watched the series over the years, you know that no race, gender, or creed is safe from brain worms. Well, shifting topics now from racism to homophobia, one of my uh, viewers sent me this clip from TikTok earlier this week, and it's in my area. It's for a dude from the Boston area and wanted my opinion on it. So let's look at it together. Who's the hottest Red Sox player, you think? Who's the hottest Red Sox player? I'm not <laughs> fucking gay. I didn't say you were, just like, who's the hottest guy on the team? Wow, you better watch that. If you had to pick. That is such a classic Boston Red Sox fan response. I cannot get over it. If you had to pick one, who do you think is the hottest Red Sox player? Excuse me? I'm sorry, what? Do you think there's any handsome Red Sox players? <laughs> Bro, what the fu- What the fu- Yo, dude, what are you- Who's the hottest? Uh, gross. <laughs> oh my god. Why are you- What do I look like? Are you- Are you gay? Are, I'm not. I can't- Why would you even ask that? Hot as- To think- Oh, eh. The overreaction to the question is so aggressive. Like, I'm still so blown away by dudes who are so uncomfortable with their own sexuality. They can't, like, appreciate conventionally attractive people. 
man, woman, whatever the hell it might be. Like, if I'm out to dinner with my wife and I see a muscle-bound dude with a nice jawline, you know, looks like he works out, I'm like, honey, that's a handsome man over there. What do you think? She's like, yeah, 8 out of 10, but you're still my boo. I'm like, thanks, sweetheart. And we do the same thing. If we see a little BBL walk through the dining room, you know, got those curves, a little something slender dress, we'll be like, what's going on over there? You know what I'm saying? You can appreciate when you're comfortable with yourself, other people. So this guy's going around, he's trolling around, asking questions to try and make viral TikToks. And my man, who was so deep in the closet, he might as well be in Narnia, just could not believe what he had just heard. Let's finish it up. Better watch that. You better watch that. Hey, you better watch what you ask me, bro. That, you don't talk about hot guys. Not in Boston. Not a, not to a Red Sox fan, bro. Not from fucking Southie, kid. I had to pick, I'd fucking knock you out for saying that. Um, no, just like, who's the hottest what? player? It's not like a gay thing. It's just like admiring another man's... I'm not attracted to guys, so... You don't have to be. Are you sure, dude? Yeah, no, we get it. We get it, bro. But the question remains, like, if you had to choose, right? This is a game. We're just making a TikTok. I'm not, I'm not calling you gay. It's okay. We're just like, just play. Can you play along without your masculinity being torn to shreds by a simple question? Holy hell. It's just like you're admiring, like. Why don't you fucking suck some Ooh, dude? That's no, all I'm thinking right now. I'm, I'm not gay either. I'm just saying like. So why are you saying who's the hottest guy then? Because like, I'm just trying to figure out who the, who you guys think are the, is the best looking guy on the team. This guy, for what it's worth, is playing. He's playing it well. He's like good at what he's doing. This kid just can't believe his ears. The, the fact, the audacity this man has to ask me that. Question my, my sexuality like that. Best looking guy on the Yankees. We're going in. We're going in. No. Best looking guy in the Sox. You. Hey. Thanks, man. <laughs> Right, at least his friend came in and saved the day. Gave him the knuckles at the end of it. Maybe he was just trying to defuse it because he knew his friend was about to throw hands because he's deeply uncomfortable with himself. I'm not! I'm not gay! Who said that I was? I'm not! Why don't I knock you out for asking me the go Red Sox player? He's so scared of the question like the closet door is locked. I mean, I'm not going to make any assumptions from this particular TikTok. It's fun to joke about, but... Probably there's something more deeply rooted going on there that has to do with his own level of comfort in his own skin. Boston's gonna Boston, though. What can you do? You know what? Maybe him and Dunkin' Donuts lady would be a good match for each other. They could just link up, go out on a date. She could be screaming at the server, throwing credit cards everywhere, crying about not getting her food fast enough. And he's just gonna sit there the whole time and go, yo, bro, hey, anyone that looks at him, I'm not, dude, what do you look at? I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not, this is gr like, that would be a fun date to watch. Imagine those two going out together. Either way, congratulations to both of them. They are recipients of today's Brain Worms Award. God! Thank you for watching. You know, I appreciate your time. If you could hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me, I would appreciate it. And if you do one thing before you go on with your day, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.